Hey, what's up everybody? This is Titan, Titans of CNC, and I'm here at Emo 2019 in the Canna Metal booth, and I'm here with my man Tilo. Tilo, how are you doing today? Doing fantastic, thank you very much. That's awesome. So check it out. We have, we got the Core 5, we got the Harvey 2s, variations of them, yes. and we have the Harvey 3 over Three. here. You guys already know, I know a lot about these tools. I've done a lot of videos. I use them every single day in all different types of applications. But I thought it would be awesome, since they're all on display, to actually have Tilo explain the evolution of how it came to be that Kenamento got the greatest profiling end mills in the history of the world. Oh. <laughs> all right, so basically we started a couple of years ago with the Harvey 2 TCD. Basically, we wanted to approach the toroidal slash dynamic milling market. So we approached our engineers, give us an end mill that is specifically designed for dynamic milling. It should not do the traditional stuff. We want to utilize latest CAD CAM tool passes. So we came up with a solution for steel and stainless. Worked out very well. Then, of course, you know, you know aerospace very well, Titan. So, of course, for North America, we needed a Harvey 3 because everybody loves Harvey 3. But again, specifically designed for dynamic tool passes here, really taking into account the shape of the workpiece, less the tool itself. And finally, closing the loop, we came up with Core, Core 5, King of Roughing, for aluminum. So we covered steel, stainless, titanium, super alloys, but one gap we still had, and that was aluminum or non-ferrous materials, and that was Core 5. And it is, for us, enormously interesting because the entire world of aluminum machining is two or three fluters. Seldomly somebody tries really to go into a higher amount of fluids because everybody is measuring volume per minute, you know, cubics per minute, things like that, requiring a lot of horsepower. So basically, the traditional way of two and three fluters is heavy cuts, deep into the material. But actually we want to move away from that one. Axial contact point, really dampening vibrations, using uh, little chip splitters to really cut the chips into tiny little pieces that are easy to extract out of cavities. But of course we also can do a little bit of full slotting if needed. But the target is really utilizing latest CAD CAM tool pass. Really optimized tool passes that is not only for the machine, but also optimized for the tool. Well, talking a little bit about the specifics of the Core 5, we started with an uncoated tool here. Why uncoated? Well, coatings always add a little bit of surface roughness, you know, the smoothest surface you get from an uncoated tool. What we also utilized here is a special IP, or let's say pattern. Basically, we want to have a very aggressive cutting of the main cutting edge, but we wanted to have a thick tapered core and that is normally controversial you know because to get aggressive you need a lot of chip space and to get a big core you reduce your chip space so when you start talking about this aggressive mm -hmm. like the flute as it comes down there's actually a flat at the bottom right so can you explain that yeah well the idea is of course you know that we want that the chip is suddenly getting curled and we call it kind of a double flute shape, you know, and this is what you see in the profile here. So basically that is the enlarged core, because the chip is obviously formed right after the cutting edge, but you need to, to really accelerate it out of, the, out of the flute. And the chip splitters, you know, they help minimizing the length of the chip so that it's much easier in deep cavities. And you, you basically prevent one little thing that people will, might ask, why not taking a regular rougher? You know, because in the aluminum world you have these cord style roughers. Well, there is this little kids game called uh, Barrel of Monkeys. Well, yeah. this is actually the effect we want to avoid. With these chip flutes, with these chip splitters, we don't have the issue that we have little tiny chips that, that hook into each other and start to recut again. So these are the, the main features what, what really helps productivity, what really helps increasing the radial engagement to a point the machine, the workpiece, everything feel comfortable. Because we need a very agile machine for so, such uh, tools here, of course, because it's less the torque of the machine, it's more the, how agile the machine is. Core 5 is so demanding in, in acceleration, in speed and everything, we brought in the safety feature basically to prevent tool pullout. 
the more you pull on, on the end mill, the more it engages with these characteristics of safe lock and pulls itself into the chuck and you cannot pull it out. Uh, safe lock is like a seat belt in your car or an airbag, you know. Of course, it adds a little bit of cost, but would you go to a car dealer and say, ah, nice car, but I don't need the airbag, I don't need the safety belt, you know, just give me a better price, make it cheaper. You wouldn't do that. You don't need it every day, but when you need it, you better have a safety belt or have an airbag or multiple of them. So there you have it from the Kenna Metal Boop, the king of roughing. We're not just taking three flutes, which are limited and going through material. We're using a five flute. We have a nice big core in it. We got chip splitters. We got coolant through and we're getting after it because time is money. And what really matters is the MRR and time in cut. And there's absolutely nothing on the market that can outcompete these tools right here. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.